Okay, so, hum, uh, so let's proceed ahead with your technical snap for thermodynamics and your BARC, right? Uh, sir, fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics, okay. So let's uh, start with the surface tension, Soham. Tell me the logic and uh, explanation of surface tension. Sir, surface tension, the concept of surface tension arises uh, because of the uh, intermolecular uh, forces. Like if we consider a fluid, then we can have two types of forces. That is the intermolecular uh, attraction, the intermolecular uh, attraction forces uh, between the molecules of the fluids and the uh, molecules of the fluids and any other medium. So at the surface of any fluid, there, there, uh, there will be the uh, condition that, uh, that a particular molecule uh, will not have the equilibrium of forces. And that thing uh, actually causes the, uh, the uh, surface tension. Surface tension is a good thing or bad thing? Uh, sir, that depends actually, uh, because uh, in practical world, uh, we need uh, surface tension uh, for something. And also uh, in some applications, uh, uh, I mean, we need some a very low value of surface tension. So it depends on the application. How it is related to capillary? Uh, it is related to capillary that is uh, because of the surface tension like water uh, because of the property of surface tension the actually the phenomena the phenomenon of capillary rise occurs i mean the the uh, the surface tension force actually holds the capillary column of the water okay <clears throat> so what is capillary action capillary action is uh, the movement of fluid uh, uh, upward or downward through uh, a small diameter pipe uh, because of surface tension. Where do you see capillary action in the nature? Uh, sir, in the nature, sir, if I consider the biological system of plants, then by the capillary action, this, this sucks water and the and the, uh, and the essential uh, fluids from the ground. Mm, that's it. Anything else? Uh, sir, In this room, there is something which is uh, working on capillary action. The room in which you're sitting. Yeah. Capillary action. You have towel in your room? OK, sir. How does it soak yes. the water? Ah, yes, sir. So in uh, in that case also, we can see the capillary action. Yes. Okay, so can you tell me what is uh, viscosity? Uh, sir, uh, viscosity is the property like uh, it is the friction between the uh, between the layers of two fluid. So I uh, I mean yes, uh, viscosity is the property by virtue of which the friction between the two layers of fluid comes. Mm. There are two kind of viscosities, right? Kinematic uh, yes, and dynamic. Sir. Yes, sir. Can you differentiate between the two? Uh, yes, sir. So dynamic viscosity is uh, is uh, is denoted by mu, and kinematic viscosity is uh, is denoted by uh, mu by rho. So uh, this is the basic definition. Uh, and furthermore, uh, we can differentiate that uh, the dynamic the dynamic viscosity actually uh, changes with temperature, but kinetic viscosity does not change with temperature much. Mm. Okay, what is the reason of having two viscosities? Uh, uh, sir, mainly that uh, I have told uh, right now that is if if I have to mention the property of viscosity of a fluid, then I can mention viscosity. But uh, if the same fluid is considered in a, in a different temperature, then the, uh, then the value of the dynamic viscosity will change. So in that case, I have to mention the value of kinematic viscosity because uh, the value of kinematic viscosity will not change at any other temperature. But, but in the 
uh, practical analysis of fluid mechanics uh, we can use dynamic viscosity and kinematic and kinematic viscosity both as required okay can you write the formula of reynolds number in kinematic and dynamic viscosity terms yes sir so in dynamic viscosity terms that is rho v d by mu uh, here the mu is uh, dynamic viscosity and if i take rho uh, in the denominator then uh, it is v d by nu so uh, so nu is the kinematic viscosity i am just showing mm. sir uh, okay. so what is what is which formula is more you know explanatory more explanatory uh sir i think the uh, the first one that is rho v d by mu because just by manipulating it a bit then i can uh, i can uh, i mean i can uh, put the denominator and numerator as the inertia and uh, viscous force so that's why that is rho v d by mu so if i uh, multiply an uh, a v Uh, in the numerator and denominator then uh, it is rho v square by uh, mu v by d then uh, it is clearly the inertia force by uh, viscous force to, so to signify the uh, significance of reynolds number i think the uh, the uh, the form uh, in which the dynamic viscosity uh, uh, is used is more uh, uh, useful mm -hmm. okay okay so hum now uh, viscosity for gases is different for viscosity of liquid can you tell me the difference uh i mean the uh, the difference between the uh, their uh, in interpretation from viscosity in liquids uh sir actually the the i mean the concept of viscosity in gases uh comes from uh Uh, comes from uh, uh, not the uh, internal uh, friction between the layers, but the molecular uh, collision. So that's how that's how the concept of viscosity in gases and liquids are different. And also the the, there is a combination of gas and liquid both. Uh, Then okay. how the viscosity will depend on temperature. Then how the viscosity will depend on temperature. um sir in that case uh, i mean uh, how the how the mixture is going like uh, if uh, i think if it is more gaseous i think if the uh, if the uh, part of gas is more then uh, it will show a gas like behavior and if the uh, part of fluid is more then uh, uh, it will show a fluid like behavior mm uh can you tell me what is cavitation sir cavitation is mainly uh, in uh, in any system if the if the uh, if the uh, if the pressure falls below the uh, uh, the vapor pressure of the liquid then the cavitation phenomena occurs and uh, uh, it is the uh, bubble formation and due to which the corrosion in the Uh, uh, in those systems can occur. Mm, okay, so hum, let me give the feedback now uh, for your okay, this part. So hum, uh, see your answer today were appropriate. Last time you were not okay. in position to answer, but this time you have answered nicely in uh, you know basic questions and the approach was good. Think and then answer. This is what you have done this time and most of the questions you were were in position to answer nicely. revise the marathons okay, and go for fluid mechanics two three more times okay sir right that is required go for two three more times and then your level in fluid mechanics will be good okay sir right so okay. this is how you have to proceed forward and the next time when you come you tell me that the basic is done sir go to the depth level now okay sir okay okay thank you